What's going on today guys? Welcome to Southern Hike. I'm Taylor and today is video number two about the big three and what's beyond in this video. We're going to talk about some of the essentials you can use on the trail for backpacking, weekend trips, or even longer backpacking trips, and really hope we can give you some insight on the stuff we have found to work well for us on the trail. Alright guys, if you see the video I'm going to link above, we talked about in the first video the big three. We talked about tent or hammock, your sleep system, your backpack. And so those are the three things you need in the beginning. Make sure to watch that video first if you're just starting. This will kind of give you some insight of where to start at and also add an affordable range. REI has some great options. We talk about some of them in that video. In this video, I'm going to kind of share some of the things me and Rachel have found that have been great for us as far as our cook system, as far as a, like a uh, pillow for inside the tent. Then also also a chair on the trail. We did a video on the Helinux chair. I'll link that above also. We did a review on that chair. It's been great. It's right at a pound and man it fits comfortable and honestly we've been so happy with that chair. Make sure to watch that. But then we're going to talk about some of the other things like your water filtration system too. Guys, I hope you enjoy this. Let's go ahead and start with the first thing and that will be your water filtration. So guys, one of the most important things is if you're going to be on the trail for multiple days and you cannot carry a lot of water is to have a good water filtration system. We've used the Sawyer filtration system. If you've seen one of our videos we talked about it. The system has worked great for us. I wouldn't carry all this gear with me here. This is honestly the whole kit here. You can carry one of the bags if you want to and just the filter itself. It will work great for on the trail. It has been one of the best things we have bought as far as filtration goes and it just works really well. I don't suggest there many one. It clogs very easy. I honestly don't even use it anymore. I don't even know where it's at at the moment. So make sure to go ahead and get their standard system. It's a little bit bigger but it just works better and you can kind of clean it out better too. To go along with that, let's talk about bottles. Now, you've seen in a video we did before is that the REI uh, bottle is, or I'm excuse me, not the REI bottle, the Nalgene bottle is a little bit heavy on its own. So a lot of hikers are going to tell you, do not use these. These are very heavy. It carries a lot of weight in itself, so it's not a good option. Now, if you're on a shorter hike, a day hike, but over an overnight trip, you honestly still can use these. They work pretty well. We have a few of them. We've used them in some of our smaller trips, so it's just been easier. Now, if you're on a longer hike, Smart Water has a great bottle that is, you know, you can even buy them in any kind of gas station or the grocery store, already full. They full, get out a little bit of electrolytes in them, and they're good water, honestly. We'll make you smart this has been a good option for us and it's a lot lighter option and then it's still a tougher plastic can handle being out there a lot you know and not get beat up or break and the top secures pretty well your Sawyer kit will connect directly to this bottle so that works out well if you need a quick way to fill this bottle up through that Sawyer setup on there and then you'll be able to directly drink from this so that's a good way remember you need a good water bottle consider the weight but make sure you have that with a good filtration system. Something that kind of I consider a part of the sleep system to go into big three, not everybody would say this, is your sleeping pillow. Some people would just sleep on their arm or not use a pillow at all, but honestly, it would mess my neck up if I didn't. This is the Trekology. This has been a really good one. This is the Loft 2.0. This pumps up very fast, and honestly, it's very comfortable. It doesn't slip. It kind of comforts my neck pretty well, and Rachel. Rachel's a lot, doesn't have as broad shoulders as I do, but she's able to use it also. If you'd like us to do a video on this alone or talk about some of the others we've used, make sure to comment below and we'll do a video on that. This has been a good setup. This is a very light pad. I can't remember, or excuse me, pillow. I can't remember the exact weight off the top of my head, but I know it's like less than six ounces or something like that. So it's a very good option. We've been very happy with it and it's very affordable too. You can get on Amazon, REI, and it's just a good one to, to uh, choose from. So as you've seen, I linked earlier in this video, this is the Helen Nux chair. Now, not everybody's going to want to bring a chair. A lot of times you go to campsites that have already got like stumps you can sit on or there's logs or things like that. You can use your bear canister in some situations to sit on. Um, be careful not to crack it at the same time. But this, if you want a good chair, this Healing Nux, it's, it's a little bit expensive, but honestly, it's been a great chair for us. It's very light. It's right at a pound. It's very secure. I'm about 190 pounds. I mean, it'll sit me fine. It doesn't stress it at all. I think it's good for up to 250 pounds. This has been a great chair. I would highly recommend it. Like I said, watch that video I did on it. We kind of open it up and put it together and it's very light. It's a good option. Okay, first aid kits. Very important to have one of these with you. Even if you cut some other stuff out, please keep one of these kits with you. You never know what's going to happen on the trail and there's some good things in some of the kits you can buy. We did just did a video on this kit. Check that out. Um, I'll link it above, but this is a great kit. This is another kit I've had for a long time. I think I actually got this kit at Walmart. Got uh, plenty of good materials in it for anything you would need on the trail, honestly. 
but this one is almost twice the, um, excuse me, this one is almost twice the weight of this one. That's another thing we considered. And this still has room in it to add other stuff, like I have a uh, heating blanket in there too, and then um, some mole skin, and then and also a wrap I keep in there too. And this will still fit with the main kit, and I can tuck that in there with it and still keep my weight down. So make sure you look at a good first aid kit. Adventure medical kits, they make some great ones. There's some bigger ones and smaller ones with this version. If you're doing a backpacking trip though, I wouldn't do a minimum of this 0.5. Then you're cutting down some of the essentials you would need for like a longer hike. So it's important to make sure you have enough. Someone like REI has a lot of breakdown on there. What's the best range for the size of first aid kit you need? This has been a good one for us. Okay guys, I can't hold all this stuff in my hands at once, but these are two options that we have. This is the Jet Bull kit. This comes with everything, just need the gas. This is one way of doing it. Or you can use the MSR Pocket Rocket. This is another way to keep things light. Uh, we did a video on that too, I'll link it above. This was another good option if you're trying to keep things lighter. You will need a lighter for this option too though. It does not have a fire starter on it. Be aware of that. You also will need a, uh, we have like the, as we did, talked about in that other video, we have the Tokes. This is like their ultralight one. I think it's like a 650 millimeter one. So it'll do two cups of water easy, but it also keeps the weight down. You do have to be careful though. This can bend easy because it's so light. So that's something all also be cautious about. Now, for coffee, everybody has a different option. Some people use instant coffee. Some people use a percolator. Now, the AeroPress Go has been great for us. Yes, it's a little bit heavier. You can kind of take some of the weight out of it and you just bring the inners of it, the inside of it. Basically, you don't have to use this case if you're depending on what kind of coffee mug you're bringing. But if you do need a mug, you know this can be used as a mug too. Did a video on this. Check back and look for that video. But this is the AeroPress Go. Great setup for making coffee. We both love coffee a lot. So it's a great way to start our morning. This is a part of our camp, you know, setup for our kitchen and stove and anything like that this is one of the things we always take with us now if you're using dry food that's you know needs water these long this is a tokes uh, titanium uh, spoon this is the long version that reaches into the bottom this has been great these are pretty cheap and it's pretty durable it's held to weather I mean we've used this for plenty of backpacking trips and it's done pretty well this is another great option okay so some people say hey you forgot about this you forgot about that well there is some other things people like to carry with them those are just some of the essentials we like to carry I want to talk about a couple more things before we in this video. These are some things we've done that work well for us. This is a, a dome lamp. This one's worked pretty well for us. It is pretty light and then it does a pretty good job definitely if we need light in the tent. Especially when we go to an area where you can't have a campfire. Light does pretty well to light up and you can hang it with a string outside your tent. Have some light in your surrounding that as the night comes. So this has been a good one for us. I'll link it below also. I would highly recommend something like this to have at night. You know if you got a flashlight also or headlamps. You know that's another thing too to carry with you is headlamps so make sure to have those. This is something trick that's worked pretty well for us. If you got some toilet paper, wait till it's about probably pretty close to being done and then pull it off and just flatten it out and then put it in a Ziploc bag. Carries means you need based on how long you're gonna be on the trail, but this has worked pretty well for us. Make sure you don't litter with the plastic or anything or the cardboard, you know, and make sure to dig a hole and bury your tissue or whatever based on the situation you're in. Some areas you can't even do that, so be cautious of that. This has worked well for us just to flatten out some toilet paper when the roll's almost gone and still have enough there to use the bathroom. Last but not least is a lighter. Always have a lighter or matches. If I'm bringing the pocket rocket set up, I need this, so you can have this or match. I like to bring this with matches just to have a backup option. You know, if it rains, something like that, if things get wet or something gets smushed, I don't want to be stuck with nothing to light anything. I have all my gas and stuff, so that's an important thing to do. You make sure you have some kind of fire starter source too. Last thing, we got these on Amazon, these net bags. These have been great to keep our kitchen supplies, our stove and everything together. Honestly, if I want to keep an extra set of clothes, these net bags work well too. I'll make sure to link these in the description below. But these have been great. They're very light, they're breathable, so it doesn't trap moisture or anything. Thing. kind of keep your filtration supplies and stuff like that in there too these have been awesome i think you can get them in a kit of like four or five of them different colors all right guys there's probably a few things i had missed in this video these are some of the essentials we always carry with us they've worked pretty well pretty basic for the most part but honestly they've been great for us this is the part two ending so this was a two-part series i hope you enjoyed these videos i hope they help y'all please let us know if we need any or you need any other suggestions put in the comments below we'd be glad to do videos on some other things out there. there's plenty more things to talk about I know that these are some things that have worked well for us and i've kind of tried to keep it at the cheaper option. that way for beginner hikers you don't have to spend a bunch of money right off the top make sure to like make sure to comment make sure to subscribe and if you subscribe turn that notification on bell below we try to do a video every tuesday usually around in the afternoon i try to release it give you more knowledge of hiking backpacking and some more traveling we got coming up. We keep talking about how we've got some trips coming up. They're finally about to get here, so we're excited. We're hopefully this pandemic will finally start to calm down. Guys, hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.